Well, to save us a lot of time, I've summarised our first guest's cycling CV. I'll just say golds, world records and many jerseys. Bradley McGee, great to have you in with us. It's an absolute well, pleasure, you guys. We Please. go way back to uh, ironing our shirts about half an hour before the uh, show. <laughs> the man bonding, yes. <laughs> but I know you've also been uh, team director, uh, DS, at Saxo Bank, like Nick was. I rang Oleg Tinkoff today to find out who was the better. Um, <laughs> he just hung up on me, so I have, I have nothing to go on there, I'm afraid. But you look back fondly on your time there after retiring? Absolutely, yeah. I still feel like a part of the team. I watched the race, the tour, and, and I'm going for Saxo. You know, I just can't get out of that. Um, that consistency, I guess. How do you step away from, from it and, l and sort of log out if you, if you can while the race is on and, and enjoy the whole picture? This, this time's been great, being here in Australia, uh, watching it with mates, uh, getting their perspective. It's, it's really quite different. I'm, I'm more a fan now than ever and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's quite amazing it's, uh, to see how much passion is in the sport from the other side of the fence. Do you miss being a professional rider? I still remember how bloody hard it is, uh, Brody, so no, not racing, definitely not. I do miss the, the sanctuary that cycling is out there doing the hours. Um, you know, it's, it's a wonderful uh, profession at the end of the day. Well, you've been doing it a while, since you were 10. Yes. It's very sick-making, so profoundly gifted. And I remember <laughs> 10 years ago when you won the prologue of the Tour de France and you were in yellow for three days and what an, a monumental thing that was for Australia. Was that something that you had plan in terms of your training and preparation for that prologue? Absolutely. Um, I think the whole year was dedicated to those seven kilometres or, or in change. Um, yeah, I was riding for La France de Jeu. We had no ambition of overall. Um, finishing the tour was a success uh, and to get anything near the podium on, on any one day was big. Uh, wear a jersey was big. Win the prologue, it was, you know, it was, it made the team for not only that year, but I think for that whole era. Mm. Winding it back at Cog, I mean, you had an incredible career on the track. What is it about the trackies that helps make roadies go on and be so good? Look, the sport's getting faster. It's power-based. If you don't have that extra, that extra ability to, to drive the big gears fast, you're going nowhere. So that comes from the track. Mm. Um, and, and that's my sales pitch these days with the young riders coming through. Stay on the boards if you can, and you'll be better for it later on. So how's that going, that now the switch to the end Swiss? You know, Nick, uh, it's, it was... It's bloody easy at, the, at, at Saxo as a DS, oh. in, in <laughs> comparison. You've got, you've got a band of brothers, they all do the same thing, they've got the same season, um, same discipline, uh, and you get you know, a few weeks off in, in November. Yeah. Uh, running a, a CISAS program, you've got multi-disciplines, males and females, um, a lot going on, and you've got to really be able to, to juggle all that and uh, be sincere every time you, you're working with each individual. And you're beholden to a sports commission instead of just a lunatic a Russian. Of, with a bit of politics, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, Oleg was great, you just go out and have a few vodkas and you know, everything's sweet, so yeah, it's a little bit different over here. I think he's been having a few in the last 10 days. You've been following him? I haven't, no. Um, strangely, I've been cut off there, maybe for a reason. <laughs> it's probably safe. Blocked. <laughs> blocked from Oleg's Twitter feed. Yeah. That's bad news. I've heard enough. But yeah. knowing, oh, sorry. Oh, so please go. But knowing the team, inside now, Saxo Bank, what do, you, what do you think about their tour so far? They're still digging and they'll always dig. Um, we learnt that uh, last year in the Volta. Um, even when you think and everyone thinks and you know, it's basically written off, there's still hope and you can get a victory out of almost nothing. Mm. Um, obviously now after yesterday's efforts, that hope is very, very slim, but they'll keep fighting. Be very interesting who comes up with the goods on today's stage. The Glondon is a very tough stage to start with, uh, climb to start with, and the Madeleine is just brutal. Mm. And if anyone's got anything left to give, mm. they can make big difference uh, in, Are in tonight's Are you impressed stage. by Rogers and his great sort of involvement and, and directorship on the road with the team? Absolutely, and, and I think we've seen Mick at his best, um, definitely in recent years. And his influence, unfortunately, hasn't been able to be, um, to be really uh, captured by Saxo Bank. Um, and it's unfortunate, but being an Aussie, we followed him and we've known him um, to be doing a very good job. Uh, again, Mick has got a lot to give these teams and it's, it's important that we recognise that in the teams um, mm. because it could be just, if he was a French rider doing what he was, you wouldn't actually know he's, he's in the race. Yeah, that's um, right. Mm. But Is this the most exciting tour you've seen in a while? Well, like I said earlier, from this side of the fence, yes. Um, there's a lot going on. Um, and what I'm really enjoying is, is being back in Australia, people know what's going on in cycling yeah. now. They're, they're educated and you can, you can just sort of, uh, no matter where you are and who you're talking to, 
once cycling comes up, it's, mm. a, it's a very deep conversation. Mm. Great. All right, well, we were going to call this a feedback, but because our audience is so educated, we're going to say musette, aren't we? This is a little <laughs> musette, you. yeah. Oh, wow. It's an hey, unconventional look, musette. I know you're doing plenty of work there scouting for the next big uh, track stars coming through. Will you stick around for the rollers, which is uh, into semi finals now? Absolutely. Love it. Thanks for coming in. So uh, great to see you.